Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. It is September 24th of 2019, and it has been 427 days since my stem cell transplant. And uh, I Googled that. I don't really know. I don't keep count anymore. It's been really easy to lose track. Um, I lose track of the days, even what day it is some days. So, um, I'm not keeping count. <laughs> um, so yeah, things that have changed or, you know, things that have happened since we've last spoke. Um, I don't have shingles anymore. I'm off my, um, pain medication. So it really was, um, not injury based. It was, um, I just, I happened to be running that day and shingles, decided to come out and play, I guess. Um, cause I ended up weaning myself off of my pain medication. I don't recommend for anybody, but, um, I, I'll say it again. I hate taking pills. So, um, I was not a fan. And plus, like, I just found myself like just being a little like too loopy because I had to be on pain medic like nerve pain medication it's not the same as like you know other pain medication this is like it makes you a little loopy but um I just didn't like the way it made me feel so um but I luckily like I just was like taking less and less pills um and I was noticing there was no pain so I just kind of dropped it all and um, my oncologist followed up probably two weeks after, um, we all spoke, um, as in you and I, and then also him and I, um, he was just amazed that like, I didn't have to be on the medicine anymore and that it did go away as fast as it did. Um, he was concerned that I was going to have shingles all through my wedding and I was going to be just really uncomfortable. And I'm just really glad that wasn't the case. And we did all of what we could to, you know, make sure it didn't happen. I think um, catching it early on was a big deal. Because um, for how bad the pain was, um, the rash ended up happening, you know, within me going in and out of, you know, the ER and stuff like that. So I think catching it early had a lot to do with it. Um, so I'm very happy that's over. Um, I hope that never happens again. So that's done. Um, I also, um, I got married a couple weekends ago, so that is like finally all come to, um, a close here. <laughs> um, it's just, it's been really busy, um, my sister-in-law, she got married in July, and then we ended up getting married right after. And I I just feel like we've been in, like, just wedding love mode, and it's been great. It's All of it was wonderful. Um, I'm glad it's over. I feel like um, the anticipation, all that weight is off my shoulders. Um, I do... However, like, kind of feel like it's an accomplishment because, um, for a long time, it's like until it happened, it wasn't done. So to me, every day that I was like on this earth and we weren't married and I'm like dealing with my situation was like another day that like I had to live through, um, and I was able to. I wish I would have picked my words a little bit better, but, um, what I mean is, is like, I've looked forward every single day. He proposed, Greg proposed to me the day before, um, my first round of chemo. We always knew we were getting married. It was just about timing and stuff like that. And unfortunately, cancer kind of pushed us a little bit harder into making sure we got it done because I wasn't sure if I was going to be around for that. And, um... And that's a, like the harsh reality of it all and why I take all of um, my things to heart is because I wasn't sure if things were going to happen, I guess, good or bad. Um, but it's 
to me, yeah, like I'm finally like, yes, we are done. Like that's one thing that was on my bucket list and I, we got it done and I'm happy and I'm so glad like we can just kind of carry on. Um, not that a piece of paper determines our happiness and our marriage and blah, blah, blah. But, um, like I said, when I felt like my days were numbered, it's like also, you know, my chances of making it to marriage were less and less, but, um, it was something I thought about every day, you know, every day through this battle, every, you know, I had so much time to think about it in the hospital, what things I, you know, who, who I wanted there, what I wanted and how I wanted it to be. And I'm, it's just, I'm just so glad it all came and it was beautiful. And all of my friends and my family, they all pitched in to make sure that it was the best day of my life. And it was, and done. So, um, we can carry on now and do like other things and look into our future a little bit further is kind of what I guess I'm getting at. Um, for other people, it's a given. For me, it wasn't. So, now I'm glad that it is. So, um, what else? I, what else has changed? Oh, um, I'm no longer working. Um, I stopped right at the beginning of September, or maybe it was the end of August, but, um, I felt like I had a lot of stress and weight. Probably, you know, everything with like my job, um, the demand was getting higher and higher and, um, my body just wasn't having it. Um, it was only, it was supposed to be part-time. It could have been a full-time job. Um, I, I worried and stressed it a little bit too much outside of work. I kind of took it home with me. I wasn't good with balancing. Um, again, between, you know, work and home, but I, it had mostly to do with the fatigue and, um, me kind of being put into this position. I felt like I was questioning my mental ability, like almost kind of like my memory. Like I, I wasn't able to reference a, like conversations if I had to, um, you know, if I had to go over, like, what happened from, you know, when the boss was on vacation, like, I mean, I can remember specific things, but, like, um, almost, like, banking on it, I, I lost confidence in it, um, because I would remember things wrong. I could bet money that, you know, she wore a purple shirt yesterday, and it would have been lime green, or, you know, like, things like that, so, um, I've been struggling with doubt with that, um, and that's with anyone that wasn't just work. That's, you know, normal, everyday things, too. So, um, whether I attribute it to getting older or it, you know, being chemo, um, I, I honestly think it's chemo. I've, I've been told quite a bit that, um, you know, it is my age or, you know, you're getting older and you're going to forget things. I do remember like how my brain functioned before and the kind of details I would remember. So I can tell kind of what the difference is in my mental capabilities. And also, um, people kind of generalize chemo. And for me, like I have, I not only had chemo that, you know, went through like my veins and, you know, my blood, it also, I've had to get it like put into like my spinal fluid, which, you know, is up, it like floats around like your brain and shit like that. So, um, I wouldn't doubt that there's damage and, um, I'm just learning, I guess, how to deal with what I guess I decide my issue is or whatever. Um, I, I do find that the mental struggle of after cancer is what is probably the hardest of this all, um, because you're so busy learning about what your diagnosis is, what your treatments are, trying to understand, you know, what words mean or what medicine's going to, you know, do what. And then by the time you're done with that, you're responding, you know, talking to your family and delivering news. And, you know, for me, I felt like I, I lived a lot of my sickness doing that and not really focusing on taking care of myself and 
right now is kind of what um, I'm allotting this time for. Um, I have to still like keep putting myself first and self-care is where it's at. Eat healthy, exercise, um, and just have like healthy relationships and be around people that um, don't reek of negativity and ugly. Um, and I mean that not physically, I mean that in their heart, um, ugly. So, um, that's kind of where I'm at at this point now, um, is just really focusing on the treatment plan for my brain, if you will. So, um, to be continued. So. Take care of yourselves, guys. That's all I have for you. Um, I have to go make dinner. <laughs> so um, I'll talk to you guys soon once I have an update for you all.